Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In the previous sessions, we are discussing regarding the various categories of operators. In that, we have already covered the various arithmetic operators and relational operators. And now in this session, let us have a look on a simple uh, operators that is increment or a decrement operators. Here the name itself indicates increment means increasing the value by 1. Here the name itself indicates decrement means reducing the value by 1. So either increasing or reducing that will be done only through a value 1. Example, if A holds a value 5, A is a variable, if A holds a variable value 5, after increment, A will be 6. After decrement, A will be 4. That means only one difference will be done. Here, the increment and decrement value, increment and decrement operators are having two variants. First, let us have a look on increment, increment operator. Here, there are two variants that is post increment, another one is pre increment. And the increment and the decrement operators are represented as plus plus and minus minus. Increment operator is denoted as plus plus and decrement operator is denoted as minus minus. Now here the post increment means a plus plus. It is denoted as a plus plus if a is a variable, integer variable. And pre-increment is represented as plus plus a so post increment that means first we have to write a variable then we have to write the increment operator pre increment first we have pre increment that means first we have to write the increment operator and then variable value a so there is a slight difference between this a plus plus and plus plus a let us look at that first coming to this post increment here First, value is assigned to A and then A is incremented. So observe carefully. Here the first, the value is assigned to A and A is incremented. That means a plus plus, the execution of A plus plus is sequence of two steps that is A is equal to value that is old value old value then A is equal to A plus 1 that means old value will be incremented by 1 Right? A is equal to old value. First, the value will be assigned to A, then A will be incremented. So, just remember this one. And coming to this pre increment, pre increment, it is denoted as plus plus A. Here, it is also two steps, sequence of two steps. The first step is pre-increment. First, increment the value of A. And the second step, new value is assigned. The first step is Increment will be done and then immediately the new value that means the incremented value will be assigned to variable A. Now let us have an example. 
plus plus a after executing this one first a is equal to a plus 1 here also two steps first step a is equal to a plus 1 and then a is equal to new value hope you understood the sequence of steps that is plus plus a means a is equal to a plus 1 and then a is equal to new value a plus plus means a is equal to old value a is equal to a plus 1 the first the old value will be assigned to a and the statement will be executed and then immediately the a value will be incremented here first the increment will be done and then new value new value will be assigned to the variable a similarly the decrement also similarly the decrement operator decrement operator a minus minus after executing this a is equal to a minus 1 oh, sorry a is equal to word value because it is a post decrement post decrement first assignment then in decrement a is equal to a minus 1 so this is the sequence of steps after executing a minus minus now minus minus a is equal to that means after executing this statement pre decrement a is equal to a minus 1 first decrement will be done and then a is equal to new value that means a decremented value a decremented value so this is all about the increment and decrement operators a slight difference is there between the post increment and pre increment similarly post decrement and pre decrement so let us have a look of a program so that you can understand better see in a is equal to 5 print f percentage d a plus plus so after executing this program the first line a is equal to 5 that means the 5 value will be initialized to a and next print f percentage d a plus plus as we know that a plus plus means that is post increment post increment means the old value will be assigned to that variable and that statement will get executed and then only the a value will be incremented now this statement will be executed with old value because it is a post increment so here the output is so the output will be say 5 because first a will be that statement, the statement which contains this post increment will be executed with a old value and immediately then the A value will be incremented. Now, if you write here immediate statement printf percentage D A. Now, in this statement, it is a post increment. So, the old value will be assigned to A and this statement will be executed first and immediately the value of A will be incremented so here the a value will be 6 hope you understood so whatever the statement contains this post increment the old value will be assigned to that variable and that statement will be executed with the old value and immediately the value of a will be incremented so in, the, in this a plus plus 
So this statement will be executed with the old value of a and immediately the a value will be incremented so that if you write this printf we can get the output 6 and then if you write here the printf percentage d plus plus a here after executing this statement as it is a pre-increment as we said that if it is a pre-increment, first the increment will be done and that value will be assigned to this particular variable. So, first the value will be incremented. So, 6 will be incremented and assigned to A. That means, here the 7 will be printed. So, don't get confused while writing the pre-increment and post-increment because it is very important. So, if it is a post-increment, first the old value will be executed, assigned and then increment will be done. If it is a pre-increment, first the increment will be done and the new value will, will, will be assigned to the variable a. Here the value will be 7. Here the printf percentage d a. So automatically this is an increment pre-increment. Value is incremented and it is assigned to a. Here the a will be also 7. And similarly, we can use minus minus, that means a decrement operator, decrement operator also, a minus minus. Here a minus minus is post decrement, that means a will be assigned with a word value and it will get executed and then the value of a will be decremented. So, this statement will be executed with a word value because it is a post to decrement. So, 5 will be printed. And if it is minus minus a, that is, oh sorry, if it is a, if you write a printf percentage d a, now the value will be decremented, so that is 4. And here, if you print, if you write the printf with a pre-decrement, first the value will be decremented and the new value will be assigned to a, so that means, the value will be decremented, 4 will be decremented to 3 and 3 will be assigned to a. That means here we will get 3. And here also if you print a, automatically it will be 3. So hope you understood this increment and decrement operators. And let us see one more example with the order of execution. If a single statement contains more than one incremented or decrement operators. See here, if we write printf percentage d percentage d percentage d oh sorry comma a plus plus comma a printf percentage d percentage d a plus plus and a here, when a statement contains more number of operators, increment and decrement operators, the execution will start from, sorry, let us write here, the execution will start from right side to left side. So, in this way, the execution will be done. Execution will be done from this way to this way. First, a value that is 5 will be printed. Next, a plus plus. That means, first the statement, the variable a will be having the old value and this, this statement will be executed. And then, it will be incremented. So, it will be having uh, the output of this. This one is 5 comma Fine. And if it is, if it is plus plus a comma a, the first a will be printed and then plus plus a means increment, first increment will be done and then assigned. So, increments of 6 comma 5 will be printed. And if you write percentage d, percentage d, percentage d, a plus plus, now here also the execution from the start from here 
first a plus plus will be executed so a plus plus means first the word value will be assigned so 5 immediately the a value will be incremented so a value becomes 6 so here if a is printing we will get a 6 and now plus plus a that means first increment must be done and then the new value must be assigned to a that means 7 will be printed so 7 6 5 is the output for given program so if a single statement contain all these things the execution will start from rightmost to left so leftmost so first this value will be executed next this value and then this value so while printing this value will be printed in the leftmost corner this value will be printed in the next corner next next, next the statement and the last one will be printed in the last one, last position so hope you understood this increment and decrement operators so remember only one thing that is post increment if it is a post increment the name itself indicates first the old value will be assigned to the variable and it will be again executed and immediately the a value will be incremented and if it is a pre increment or a pre decrement first the decrement or increment will be done to the variable and then it will be assigned to the the new value will be assigned to the variable hope uh, you understood this one uh, let us all stop this session and in the next session we will have a discussion on one more type of operators and thank you